Hey everyone, it's Emmy, your registered dietitian with East Coast Bariatrics, and I'm getting ready to make my dinner, so I thought I would bring you along. I already did some of the prep off screen, so I'll bring you up to speed. I'm going to be making pizza zucchini boats. I had zucchini in my fridge for about the past week, and I really want to use it up before it goes bad because I don't like wasting food. So I have my little zucchini boats here. So what I did is I have two zucchinis and I cut the ends off, cut them in half, and then I scooped out the middle so I have rooms for the toppings. So I have four pieces here. Um, I actually didn't use the full two zucchini zucchinis, um, so I'm gonna save some as leftovers. But I've used zucchini before with buffalo chicken dip, but this time I'm gonna be making it a pizza version. So I have my baking sheet here, I have the foil, and I sprayed it with canola oil. And then I have my four little boats here. So all I'm gonna do next is just sprinkle some salt. And the recipe I looked up online didn't call for pepper, but I'm just gonna put some pepper on it too. So I got my salt, my pepper, and I just picked this up at Aldi. It's just a four cheese flavored um, tomato sauce. There's only one gram of added sugar, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to put the final amounts in the description of this video because I'm not sure how uh, much I'm actually going to end up using. So I'm going to get my quarter cup out. So I have my boats and I'm going to start putting some sauce in each of the boats. Hoping I don't make too much of a mess. So already judging this, I kind of like having one eighth cup sauce per boat. This is looking good. So I'm filling the boats. And everything here I got from Aldi. Oops, that was a little too much really like going to Aldi sometimes instead of Walmart. I just feel like I can get in and out quicker. So got my four boats with the sauce and then I have some mozzarella cheese, which per one quarter cup is six grams of protein and only two carbohydrates. So pretty low. It's the same thing. I will get a measuring cup just as like a starting point but then whatever final amounts I end up using, I'll let you guys know. So this is a half cup here. I'm just kind of going to start distributing this. This is already looking good. So maybe a half cup of ch mozzarella cheese between the four boats. It's kind of looking good, right? And the sauce smells so good. All right, so we got about half cup of cheese distributed between the four boats. All right, next I have some Italian seasoning, which seasonings are considered non-nutritive, meaning they don't have calories, carbohydrates. So you can kind of put as much as you want on, but I'm just gonna put a sprinkle on each boat, along with some garlic powder. Really like garlic, just a little bit. And while I was in my cabinet, I saw the onion powder and thought, why not? Onion powder. All right, and then the last thing, pepperoni. Now, I'm really glad I saw the turkey pepperoni because it had twice the amount of protein, but only a fraction of the fat. It was also a lot lower in calories, but the same carbohydrates as the regular pepperoni. So instead of five grams of protein, it has 10 grams of protein per serving. And it only has three and a half grams of fat compared to the 13 grams of fat, I believe it was, that was in the regular um, pepperoni. So I'm gonna get a few of these out. And I'm thinking maybe just two per boat might be good. 
And everything so far that I'm using is pretty easy to track. I mean, you can scan the pepperoni, you can scan the um, sauce and the cheese, and then of course measuring to help make sure it's accurate. And the last thing I'm gonna do is some Parmesan cheese. Yeah, this is definitely a little messy. It's hard to get it to stay on the boat. <laughs> you could always put some extra Parmesan cheese on it after it's baked too. And you might've heard my oven go off. Um, the oven is preheated to 375 degrees. And I'm just gonna cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's getting bubbly and kind of golden, the cheese. And then it's ready to eat. So here's what it looks like before going into the oven. And I'm really excited. And I got some helpers with me. You might be able to see my dog there. She's really interested in what I'm doing, but she cannot have any of this. So there are my prepped uh, zucchini boats, and I will put a picture in the comments when they're done. And I'm really excited. I think they're going to come out good. So as usual, I hope you were intrigued by this recipe. As you saw, it was really easy to throw together, and I think it's going to taste really, really good. So please let me know if you try out this recipe. How did it go? Did you like it? Did your family like it? And as always, if you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to me at the office or any of us at the office. So I'm going to finish cooking this and I'm going to enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. I'll see you soon.